Shalom, and welcome to another installment of Apostles of GMS, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Today's topic is going to be entitled, Be Occupied in Prophecies. And that's from uh, Ecclesiasticus in the, in the uh, Apocrypha, um, start out of the 39th chapter, all right? And we're going to read through that, most of it, maybe the whole chapter, you know, we'll go precept by precept, you know, verse by verse, and see where the Spirit leads us. But before I go into that, we, you know, we're in the midst of a house cleaning, and um, certain guys are getting kicked out here and there. Uh, there's a there's a, a new group of guys that I never seen before. What was the name of them? GMS Gold Coast. GMS Gold Coast. They made a video saying that the day of the uh, day of atonement is a, fa a feast, not a fast. They're out the camp. We don't recognize them, guys. Uh, you know, make sure you let give give them the memo. Give them the, give them the memo. Let everybody else know we're not dealing with those guys. All right. You have a lot of guys in G that that have the name GMS, the uh, prefix GMS, GMS whatever, GMS X Y Z. Just because you have GMS in front of your name doesn't mean you're in GMS spiritually. So eventually, through the spirit of the Most High, we're going to catch up to you. We're going to find you, and we're going to let you let the world know, the world of GMS, Great Millstone, that you have nothing to do with us, man. All right? And don't jump up talking about, well, we, we got to have a council. We don't got to have no council, man. Okay, if we deem that you are not right, then we're kicking you out, man. Now, some of them, you can have a, a crew of guys, and maybe the head guy will focus in on the head guy. Maybe the other guys, maybe half the guys still want to be with GMS, and the other half, they really don't give a shit. Well, so be it, man. Hey, the sifting, we're, we're in the time of sifting right now, man. You know, everybody says, uh, like, uh, Baloo talking about uh, people leaving GMS left and right. Well, guess what? If that's the case, so be it, man. Wish that's not happening. You you wish that way. You 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 wish for that to happen, man. Right. <laughs> and them guys that 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 left are bugged out. Uh, look at uh what's his, what's his dude? The, the the Haitian priest or whatever the hell what we used to call him, Dinobot. Dinobot Isa, he don't even believe in the scriptures no more, man. He goes in the scriptures and says, well, this scripture co uh, contradicts. Well, the Most High is taking away that spirit from him, from his ass, man. All right? I'm going to say something. That's right. You know, so basically, you know, uh, he, he was he, when he first uh, got kicked out, you know, he was saying the name of the Most High, the name of Yahweh Shai, you know, and he was saying, yeah, y'all saying that, you know, that... Uh, I'm going to lose those names, and I'm going to lose this, lose that. I ain't going to lose none of that. And slowly but surely, what happened, as, as time kept going on, he, st he stopped using the name. He started talking shit about the name. He started talking shit about the language, you know. And then, then he started talking shit about the apocrypha, you know. And then, then what, the, what, what, what happened eventually was now he, he's talking, basically talking shit about the Bible. So he's, he's, he's not even dealing with the Bible anymore. So he went from being... This uh, super duper Israelite, you know, no one uh, memorized all kind of scriptures, breaking down all kind of uh, scriptures in the in the Bible to 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 somebody that's totally bugged out, you know. Like the scriptures say, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Y you have a yeah. I got a scripture for you on uh, the book of Luke, eight and eighteen. It says, "Take heed, therefore, how ye hear, for whosoever hath, to him shall be given." And whosoever have not from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. That's right. Even that which he seemeth to have. So basically what Dinobot falls under, he'll fall under the, uh, uh, the parable of, of, of the uh, one that was given a talent and he put it in a napkin. And when the Lord came back, he took the napkin and, and pull, pulled the talent out and gave it, gave it back to the Lord. And the Lord basically destroyed his ass. So what the Lord did in, in the parable, he took away the talents that, that, that one man had, and he gave it to the one that had ten talents. You know, because the Lord said, whoever hath shall be given more, and whoever hath not shall be taken away even that which he seemeth to have. 
Yeah, you have it. No. Yeah, I got one more for you. Jeremiah 6 and 30. It says, Reprobate silver mm. shall men call them. That's right. Because the Lord have rejected them. Yeah, and the Lord rejected you, Isaiah. Just like the Lord rejected you guys. From what I understand with them guys in the uh, GMS Gold Coast, uh, they were kicked. With the, the the main guy, that the, 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 the one, uh, I guess he was to the, uh, what is it, to the right. You know, um, yeah, the one to the right, the one that was doing the most talking. He was kicked out of uh, the GMS LA camp years ago, you know, but he still kept that name, you know. And um, and um, I'm sure them brothers, you know, in LA going to do a video on, on him, an update or whatever, you know. But um, he got kicked out years ago, you know. But the thing about it, he never let that name GMS go, you know. So just like Apostle Tar said at the beginning of the lesson, just because you, you have the prefix GMS, on your title doesn't mean that you are spiritually part of G, uh, GMS or Great Millstone. You, you had a, a, a yeah, I got a precept in Romans um, 1, the first chapter and the 21st verse. Then I'm going to jump down to like, I believe, the 29th verse. No, well, actually 28, but uh, this is Romans 1 and 21 because um, the Apostle Paul, pretty much what we're doing now is like the same thing all over again. Paul was, the, and for you people that say, well, you guys are going off Y'all being wicked, y'all can't just be coming down on brothers. Look, man, this is what the Apostle Paul, Paul was pretty much kicking people out, man. And he was giving certain people over to Satan. So the Apostle Paul wasn't right, right? But you niggas will read scriptures uh, 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 about the Apostle Paul and stuff like that. You you guys are told yourself still being in the truth. Well, this is what Paul said. Because this was uh, the book of Romans, and this was a letter that Paul wrote to the church that was in Rome. Right? Why? Because you had niggas just like you niggas today. And you know what? This is spiritually. This is like us writing. This is a spiritual uh, letter. We're writing the letter, but by way of the internet, instead of, you know, like how Paul did it. <laughs> this is the letter. All right? Uh, like Apostle to, to her said, this is the memo. <laughs> right? The letter. You're getting it right in front of your face on your uh, computer screen, man. Romans 1 and uh, 21. Because that when they knew the Most High, they glorified him not as the most high, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. That's you guys. You guys that was in the, you, all you guys that so-called came into the truth, and we primarily right now talking about you so-called guys that was a part of GMS, because the mother camps are lost. Forget about them. You guys, that you, a lot of you guys, you learned from us. You saw us on the videos, man, including Alizé. Including you, Alize, and you admit it. You admit it that you, you, we're the elders. You learned from us. All you guys, at one point or another, you saw this video, elders of GMS video, primarily, and you saw other videos that uh, brothers and GMS was doing. And y'all learned. Y'all learned the truth from us. And then y'all set up camps or set up a camp in whatever state you was in or country you was in, and you started teaching. And then you said double honors to the elders of GMS. Shalom. Double honors to the elders that rule well. These are the elders, the elders, the elders. Some of you niggas actually came up here to the city and met with us and all that. Right? Then all of a sudden, you became vain in your imaginations, meaning you niggas started feeling yourself. I'm putting it to words you can understand. What the scripture, you started feeling yourself, man. A lot of you guys, you learned a couple of scriptures and you started feeling yourself, man. And you started thinking that maybe, well, look, we don't need that. Look, man, we are the most high dealing with us. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh dealing with us, man. We on a level. Look, man, the elders really can't teach us nothing no more. Well, that's what, well, that's what Nate and them did, yep, man. Yep. When they left, they figured we learned enough. We had to learn from Ariad, and then we gonna split, man. Yep. Now look at look at look at Nate now, man. Come. Nate is hey, and now I got a new thing. The spirits on me. Anytime another camp or even in GMS, anytime somebody goes off on the scripture, like for example, if you if so, anybody's teaching that. Uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 18 uh, the six, His number 666 Is talking about 666 men That rule America and the world I had to jump on it man Anybody that's down with General Johanna Is a fucking jackass yeah. man <laughs> You're a moron An idiot <laughs> and, and, and anytime you, you better hey, You better make sure you go into them books you better make sure you check everything. You better, hey, when you do a video, you better think about it. Because we're going to be right here, man, watching all your videos. And we're going to.